I'm Harry Coyright and I'm a photographer of natural landscape. Six days ago, I embarked on a journey from east to west to try and take two pictures that somehow embody the spirit of England. It's been an extraordinary week. Anyway, let me take you back to the beginning of it all. I've been taking landscape pictures like these for over 15 years in some of the most beautiful parts of the British Isles. My favourite of all are the ones of the wild salt marshes of Norfolk, my home patch. I want my pictures to give an experience of what it's like to actually be in a place. So when the BBC challenged me to take two pictures to capture a flavour of modern England, one in my familiar Norfolk territory and one in urban Bristol, in just six days, I was apprehensive about whether I could do it. The first two days of my challenge will be on home ground, the North Norfolk coast, where I have to get a shot that sums up the magic of this place. Luckily, the landscape is spectacular this morning. I could wait 10 years for a dawn like this, so I've got to move fast. I want to reach a spot on a creek that's difficult to get to, but it could be perfect if these frosty conditions last. This is going to burn the frost off the reeds very quickly, this sunshine. Uh, so uh, this isn't going to last for long. Quite boggy here. Usually I come to the place where I'm photographing two or three times before I actually take the picture. It's like a raid. You go down, you find what it is you're looking for, try and take what I need, and then head home. Right, here we are. This is the creek I've been had in mind. Don't recommend coming. You know, there's deep bits. I went up the other day up to over my waders. It's, not, it's quite treacherous ground. Um, God, look at all that. You can see all the ice has got caught up in the top of the reeds. Fantastic. This is the camera I use. This is a 10-8 plate camera. And it takes film like this. And the size of the negative is 10 by 8 inches. And the point of that is that it's a huge amount of detail. So all of that is going to end up upside down on here. What photography is all about is about now. And there's something about the look of the, the, the creek that's down in here with its silveriness, with its ice, with the way that the sun's hitting it. It just seems completely appropriate for me to be here. It's what I'm after all the time, which is just to try and get the whole thing to feel that it fits, that it's a, a whole, if you like. You know, I find it was even though there's two days of preparation and thinking about it and everything, in the end, it's always terribly speedy. And, well, they're annoyingly speedy. Well, we're thinking about it and slightly worrying about it. And it comes down. Half a second. That's it. What we've been asked to do is to take what I have done this morning, the approach that I have when working out in familiar salt marsh territory, and try and do that in Bristol. Now, I don't know quite yet what I'm going to find in Bristol, and I don't know how I'm going to manage it, whether I will be able to manage it. But the idea is to translate, to take what I do and exercise it there. I've never worked in an urban landscape before. I don't know an urban environment. It's just not been there. I don't live in one. What this show I know has a bit of is he's not going to be able to do it. Ha! You know, he can't do it there. Now, I don't know. I think I can do it, but, but I don't know whether... I don't know how I'm going to do it. 
This is a uh, houseboat that I use. It's out on the edge of the marsh. I love my family dearly, but it's quite nice being able to be separate from what goes on in the daily life of that, and just to immerse myself really in the place and just concentrate on the job in hand, which is taking pictures after all. When I go to Bristol, I'll be staying in the van where I can sleep in there and I make a cup of tea. It's nothing terribly important other than just being self-contained. Having my camera ready in the back of the van means I can react quickly when the weather changes and I can see the possibilities for a good photograph. But this dense fog is a real problem for me. With such limited time available, I'm going to have to try and take another picture. Because the mist has come in, we've got this idea of a picture that a bit more kind of enclosed, but you never really know. I mean, it may, may work, may not, it's, um, but I think it's going to be worth a try. concerned about here I don't think I'm going to take a picture because what we're trying to do is take pictures here of the marsh as a dynamic thing as a thing that's full of many many aspects it's full of detail and very often this happens is that you get all excited about it you come over the top of the hill or I come down through the reeds or whatever and it just it isn't what you're, I'm after very often photography is about not taking pictures it's the end of day one with only one single shot in the bag. If this weather continues, I'm really worried that I won't be able to take the picture I want of Norfolk. We've got another day tomorrow where we're going to go photographing. Uh, I'm going to go and take a picture in on the beach at Brankster. And I want to try and take a picture that is the opposite, really, of what we took this morning. I want to take a picture tomorrow which is much more about the openness of what happens up here. You know, I'm pretty excited about making that picture I took this morning into a big one because I feel it represents what we're after. Now, that may be superseded by what we take tomorrow. I don't know. We'll have to see. Come on, have a, come on, have a look at this. We're, we're on Brankster Beach and it's misty again, but uh, I don't know, I don't think that matters. What's happening is the sunlight is every now and then coming through the clouds, and through the mist. We can pick up on my camera here, all of these bits of detail, all the shells, all the stones, all the things that the high water mark has left up. And we've got lovely flecks of silvery water on the sand. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Just see the sea, just barely. Barely a difference between the sea and the sky. Yeah, that's great. This gets all a bit urgent now. Let's concentrate. I'm always trying to capture a particular moment in my pictures, and that changes from second to second. Quarter at 45. That sun's going to break through any minute now. There we go. Okay, we'll release. Check that. Working. Okay, all comes down to this. And there it is, it's done. There's something about taking a picture like this which is very tonal, it's just an abstract. It's just, it's just greys and pale browns and silvery light and, and nothing in a way. But I think with this camera, what happens is you, it becomes the sum of many parts. You can see every bit of sand and every little bit of water sitting in the pools. It's a kind of real place, and that, I kind of love that tension between the abstract, the tonal, and the real. It's quite, a kind of, quite an exciting thing to play with. It's cold still, oh God. The time, three o'clock, late lunch. Um, and we're in my favorite cafe, Bone of Dukedale and the marsh is just out there, and it's, uh, it's been a big day. We now have two pictures, one from yesterday and one from today, and today was completely different, really misty, really misty day. So we ended up with kind of a much more of an abstract picture than the kind of literal one we did yesterday. I want to take a good picture, look. 
does the whole of this program, does everything justice. So, tomorrow, off to Bristol. Um, I've got the map, and I've marked where I'm going, which is exciting. And I'm looking forward to meeting Chris Chalkley, who's going to show me around a bit, uh, and Amira Cole. These are guys are hopefully going to be a great help, because I, don't, I just don't know the place. I don't know what it is I'm going to find. I need, I need a guide, as like much as anyone would need a guide if they were here. A city, obviously, is a place that is fits in a completely different way to way how a landscape fits. It's, it's about relationships, it's about politics, it's about all sorts of goings on that just don't exist here. Whether I actually address them as a photographer, whether I actually address them in the work that I produce, I don't know. But I think it's going to be important to acknowledge them. I want it to be for real. Landscape already has begun to change from that Norfolk flatness that we have. There's many more trees around, the roads are bigger. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not my nice little lanes going down to the coast anymore. Walking to the other side With the devil trying to take my mind And my soul's just a silhouette parked up in the middle of Bristol and it's evening, 7.30 and it's been a day of travelling. We left Norfolk early in the morning and stopped once or twice and spent a lot of time thinking and talking about this job ahead, these pictures to take here tomorrow and the next day. You know, I don't know this city at all and I've never been to a city with this task, with this job to do. Right, we've got to get going, because it's, uh, it's core to, to six, there's a moon up, and come in, come, come in, I'll show you what it is. Okay, now, I don't know, it's difficult to, with this kind of unfamiliar place, but something like that is the thing that can make a picture. I've got a map here, I've got to get to Totterdown. Totterdown is in the east of the city, and I want a view looking back over towards the west, and I want that thing in it, and we've got to go. Come on. The moon's gone behind some cloud. You see a city, but don't, I don't, can't see any, there's no idea of it being Bristol in any way. There's nothing, um, no, it's not right. No, I want to get higher and, um, no, not right at all. Find somewhere else. Let's go. This is the seat of your pants photography, this. There's a dawn coming on over here. The moon's gone. The moon, moon's just gone and so we're not looking at that anymore. We're now just going to go I'm going to go and see if I can find a picture of the sunrise, but I just don't know this place. So I'm going to head for high ground, that's what I always do. 